final of the women's eight gets underway. All these crews now absolutely powering it off. It's such a great spectacle to watch the first 150 meters. And already up there in lane number two, the German crew just easing it away. And in lane number three, Australia starting to move. But the Germans have had the better of the starts. Great Britain close to us in lane number six. Yes, Germany was second last year. Um, very strong crew. They've been pretty, pretty impressive on the on the uh, circuit. But Great Britain did beat them on the uh, in the semi-final uh, to to reach to reach this final. Uh, look out for uh, for uh, Romania back with uh, uh, some of their real old timers. Uh, they've got two people who uh, in the boat there: Susanna, uh, Susanna and uh, Damian, who won the bronze medal in the pair yesterday, and also Australia, who were the uh, the fourth in the uh, in the pair. And in the German boat, the stroke, the stern pair, Zimmermann and Hippler, they won the silver yesterday. So you've got some people here with a rather tired legs, and that could have an effect on this race. So Great Britain got off well closest to us in lane at number six, Elena Order. Top of the picture now starting to push on Canada. Germany, early race leaders slipping back into Australia. That's the German crew there now in lane number two. Australia in three. Romania, the Olympic champions, making their charge to the 500-meter mark, pushed hard by USA, who lead now. USA from Canada, Germany, Australia, and Great Britain leading the Olympic champions in lane number six. Germany stroked by, uh, by Elke Hippler. She's uh, a really good athlete she really does uh, lay down a wonderful rhythm very very strong athlete but uh, United States you did expect that they would explode in this final and uh, certainly they're taking this race on moving very very well right at the top of the picture though Canada moving very well too. Canada in second place at the moment a Great Britain closest to us here half mile end down on the world champions this is a very good position here now they really have to just poise to hang on if they can hang on to the coattails of the USA that will put them in a great great position and remember they've got to come in the top five to qualify so there's two objectives here qualify the eight and then see from there to get a medal we're looking at Canada in lane number one Cox by Leslie Thompson an Olympic champion in the women's eight back in 92 silver medalist in the women's eight in Atlanta she's got a ton of experience there she's such a controlling fantastic Cox here she will guide Canada down lane number one and look at the throng on the far side all the coaches and the supporters watching every stroke unfold and Canada have not let the USA go Canada just about six feet down in second position and Great Britain now pushing up to a quarter of a length that's a great great move from Great Britain through the 750 meter mark all crews in a tight pack aren't they they're very close together well, a fabulous, fabulous first 1,000 metres. Great Britain now moves up into two bronze position. They were in fifth going through the 1,000. If you took a straw poll from everyone around here, would you have thought Great Britain being in the bronze medal position at the halfway mark in the final of the 2007 World Championships? So there'd be very few that would take you for that. But they, have, they are rowing the race of their lives. They did that to qualify out of the repechage. They're doing it again here now in the final but watch Romania in lane at number four the Olympic champions six of the 2004 crew back in that boat the experience now will start to show in this third 500 meters so in the Ignat in the stroke seat of the Romanian boat very very experienced multi medals in her in her background very very good at just timing this race these uh, these races well she's bringing her crew through now uh, at halfway and they are now challenging the leaders so the 24-year-old Caroline O'Connor coxing the British crew. Britain slipping back to her half a length from Oxford Brooks University. Really now has to drive this women's boat up to the next timing mark if they are going to be win with the shot of qualifying. And let's start to dream about it, perhaps getting a medal. Because now they are on the cusp of a race of their life. Out go again, USA, Romanians, we mentioned that. There's Great Britain now in lane number six. A little look left there from Caroline O'Connor in the uh, stroke seat. Jessica Jane Eady, a mere 23 years of age from University of London Boat Club, having a fantastic race. There is now only 500 metres remaining in this final of the women's eight, and the British crew are well and truly in there. In third position, they are leading the Olympic champions. They're leading Germany and the German crew on the home water here and the British now have to go up 
because Romania are hunting down the race leaders, USA. Wonderful, wonderful place here. Great Britain, this side, still there, fighting off uh, Romania, but Romania challenging America. What Great Britain has to do is to keep Germany behind them and to keep uh, uh, the, uh, the United States in their sights. Keep Canada behind them and they get through to the Olympics and they are in a position here to get a medal. So with 250 metres remain, a mere 25 strokes, that's all it is for Great Britain to get on the medal podium for the first time in a long time. And the Romanians now are two feet, three feet down on USA. The race for the gold medal here, and Romania up they go there. You're looking at Doña Ignat in the stroke seat, a ton of experience. The British boat in lane at number six, hanging on on the far side here come germany in lane number two australia in the middle in three romania still hunting usa the usa crew have got their heads down they are holding on but they're going to move out to a, perhaps a quarter of a length and it's a race it's going to be close for the bronze medal the british crew have to hold on it's going to be a photo finish there goes through for USA, the silver medal for Romania, and the British group coming up, and the British group may well have got it, and they may well have sneaked the bronze medal here, and we will wait for confirmation, and what a miracle and a race they have just had. Not only have they qualified for Beijing in 2008, they may have snuck and stole a, silver, a bronze medal. Confirm there, Great Britain get the bronze medal, and the rejoices all round and well deserved well well deserved there and caroline o'connor jumping for joy she drove that crew every single stroke it's bronze here for great britain today in an outstanding performance and usa get the gold but let's watch romania the olympic champions in 2004 going for